I'm just doing a video on uh, how to make short swords. Um, people want to know how to make them. And uh, just kind of formal, just a uh, chance to get to see how I do them. Um, they're going to take a while. So um, I don't want to play this on double speed and uh, uh, you know, turn the sound down if you're working on a project on your own. Uh, tape can be loud, so watch out for that. Um, so for the first thing I'm doing is I'm covering up the ends of the fiberglass rod so that it doesn't uh, poke through. I'm going to take some of this camping mat rubber foam. It's a bit tougher than this blue uh, Ozark trail stuff I use. And I'm just going to attach that to the ends here by rolling these up. Attach those to the ends there. And that's just to keep it from falling off while I'm working. It's not the main uh, strength. What my, mainly the thing I use is Gorilla tape for that. And I'm going to secure these on here. A little flag. And wrap it around. This is the most important part because if you do this wrong, uh, you can end up with a very dangerous weapon. Um, these swords are supposed to be really safe, so you want to make sure that this is this step is done correctly. Now it's really squishy. It should be nice and soft on both ends, and that's and that's your security system. Okay. So uh, now that that's done, I'm going to get some pieces of uh, this dark trail having that foam. These are 27 inches. This is two feet, by the way. Uh, and let's tape them on the sides. Flip it over. Tape it down. Just do it all the way up the side. Make sure it's really snug. Don't want it to be wiggly. Tight, down, make sure it's centered as you go along. Okay. You can see I've got some sticking off the end here on the, that's the, the point, and this is the pommel. Okay, so now I'm gonna do that again with another piece, um, similar size. When I'm going to split. Sometimes it splits well, sometimes it doesn't. This side, it's working pretty good. So match it up at the bottom and on the pommel. This is one of the more tricky parts because the tape want to, the foam tends to want to move on you. Once you get this step done, though, the rest is a little easier. There we go. Okay. Flip it over. Get the other half piece. Put it on there. Up there. All right, so now what we're going to have here is what I have to call a blank. It's basically a sword form that's ready to be shaped and uh, can be then carved into whatever type of sword you want to make, whatever the higher design you want. Uh, this is going to be just a basic short sword, but you could do all kinds of interesting designs if you wanted to. So I'm going to start off with the uh, handle, it's a seven and a half inches, I'm going to mark that up, that's where the cross guard is going to be. Uh, just scoop out the cross guard here, like that, handle, do the same thing here, the other side. I try to design these so that there's nothing wasted, or very little wasted. This is actually going to be the cross guard, these two pieces here. Um, trim these here. I might need those later. Okay, so now I'm going to do the work on the point here. Uh, I'm going to shape it a little bit so it's more of a, looks more like an actual point. I'm going to match it up first so that it, these two sides are the same. And then I'm going to start here 
uh, move that back there. Then you can see now you're going to start right up here and I'm going to cut a curve and then right, get pretty close to the edge and then sort of taper that out until it gets to the edge. And the same thing on this side starting here. I'm going to kind of taper it and then let it taper out to the edge. Try to taper off right where the other one did as well. It's okay if it's not quite exact because you're going to um, fix it later as you shave it down. Um, you, can, you can look at your two sides to see if they're looking like they're about the same. If they're not, you can take off just a little bit at a time to kind of match them up. That's looking better. Okay, I like to, I like to put these little scoops in my swords um, right here. Um, it makes it look a little more decorative. So do that there. Another one side. And again, I save these. These are going to be the pommel right there. Okay. Um, now the point. Uh, I'm going to use some open cell foam. Uh, this is the stuff that's the only time I don't use the blue foam. I use open cell foam, this couch kind of foam. And I'm going to take a piece of that and stick it in to this little space in here. Uh, that's just so that when you stab, you don't get a really hard, um, it doesn't hurt so much when you stab, and also that it keeps it from compressing over time. It keeps it soft over time, and it doesn't end up being coming really folding over on you or becoming kind of dangerous. One of the mistakes a lot of people make with these swords, just to warn you, is they add, use too much tape. So if you're making this at home and you're trying to, to make one, don't be tempted to use too much tape. Um, it is really easy to um, make that error and then this sword is useless. Okay, uh, next I'm going to shape the blade. This is uh, called beveling. I'm going to just take off a diagonal line like that, all the way down. That. Same thing again here, other side. Just bevel that. It's a diagonal cut that I'm doing. So I'm cutting off this little tiny corner. So you can see now it's just a slope. I didn't go all the way through. I'll flip it over to the same thing. Doubling it. Helps if you have a really good sharp razor blade. If you don't, that beveling can be really look jagged and doesn't look great. There we go. Okay, cross those. Don't need those. All right, so now we've got the basics of the sword pretty much formed up. We've got our cross guard, we've got our pommel. What we need are sides to this because the bar will hit you and really, really hurt. So we're going to get another piece, uh, same size, 27 inches, like that. And this is going to go on the top, except we're going to split it. And this is called a sandwich cut. Think of it like a, making a, a um, Subway sandwich. You know, cut the bread, you know, in half. And it's uh, this cut is probably the hardest one to teach, the hardest one to do. You have to cut right along the middle. And once you've done it a lot, it's a lot easier um, to manage. But at least at first, it can be a real pain to figure out how to do. Once again, sharp knife makes a big difference. So make sure to keep your razor blades sharp. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to cut a point right there and right there. So now I've got a kind of point on the end there. And these are going to go on the sides like this. To do that, take some tape, pull it kind of taut roll it up like a tube, like that, double-sided tape now. Slip it down there, do the same thing up here, pull it taut, roll it up. Okay, that's going to hold it in place, match this up, and cover it up. I like to put the uh, side that has the uh, Smooth side on the outside. There we go. Now you're going to get a weird effect where it's suddenly going to be way longer. And you're like, how can that be? It, I just measured it. It was the same length. It's because when you cut the foam, uh, the, it releases, it's been rolled up in a tube. And so one side is longer than the other. And so it'll like, it'll stretch out on you. It seems a little weird, but it's normal. All right, so I'm going to scoop this up. You can see this edge here. I'm, now I'm beveling this. Bevel this edge here. So I'm beveling the center now. Also the hand grip. Bevel that. Same thing on the other side. Get 
go, and that's done. Okay, I can toss those. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip it over. Same thing on the other side. So now we got tape on there. So I take this up and trip the second piece and put it over top. Smooth side up. Down. There we go. And then trim it. Okay, and then bevel it. Helps if you pull on this foam piece here just to make it keep it taut. It'll come off a lot easier if you're holding on to it. Here. Okay, so now this is almost a usable sword at this point. And I could just cover it up and say it's an interesting short sword, but I want cross guards and stuff, so I'm going to go on to that sip. So, I'll put this... Uh, cross guard on, take the tape, and I'm going to roll it up again, put that across as a cross guard, take these, these pieces are the pieces that I cut out from here on these sides here, so take that piece, fold it in half just so I can see where the center is, Get, I just pretty much set in the middle and then press that down to get the center where that's going to be, okay, that's fine, flip that over, gonna take that up, there, use this other one, and I'm gonna put that one down right here, and match them up. So there we go. Now you can see I got a cross guard going there. The cross guard doesn't take a lot of abuse, it's gonna take a lot of abuse, so I have to really tape it really, really well. So um, there's, there's several different ways to do it, but currently the easiest one I think is this version. Tape it like that. And you kind of fold these underneath. And that secures it to the blade without overdoing it with the tape and like creating a lot of extra weight. There's another version you can do where it, you kind of fold it in um, along here. But either of those works fine. All right, so now that's secured. Now I gotta do the pommel. I do a little bit of uh, tape here and I put it on the bottom there. Keep that shut. That's because this pommel is also going to take a lot of abuse and it needs to be have a safety feature in place. I'm going to take these two little pieces that I used for these scoops here and reuse them. You could also use um, just a piece of rectangular spare foam from somewhere else if you wanted to. You could, you know, find a piece like this and just cap it like that. That also works great, but I like the look of this one, so I'm going to do that round, uh, the round pommel. Okay, so then piece of tape and just plop it right on top. Hold that down. Flip it over. Same thing again. Okay, and then wrap it around. Here, there we go. See that? And fold those in all the way around. So make sure there's no tape show, oh, foam showing. And the other side. Okay. So there's your pommel. Okay. Oh, and then. Uh, and then we got the blade. Now the blade, um, you need to take a step here to make sure you don't have a problem later. I like to take little pieces like this and put them along this little tiny, in, this, in the scoops. It's because the scoops, often you have to cut the foam, the, you have to cut the tape when you, when you, do the, when you uh, tape up these scoops. And if you don't, uh, if you, depending on how you cut it, it, it'll reveal blue uh, foam. So you really wanna take this preemptive step, trust me and just put a little tape in there. Um, and also, you know, right along 
in here is also good just in these little spaces where as you're taping it's very likely to get you're going to miss a spot and you're going to regret it so do that one another one is a um, spot you want to think about is this uh, length here is to do like a split piece and then put a piece of tape you know, straight along this because uh, you're often going to miss a piece too. Some would like to do that towards the end and I'll, I can show you how to do that version too. So I'll, I'll save these and we can do it at the end too, but you can put pieces on there if you want. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and do the blade. It's four pieces of tape um, you got, and they go all the way down. Do not wrap. You want to go long ways. So that's one right here. I'm going to go all the way over the cross guard when you do this. So you're taping at the tip kind of here, just all, not all the way at the tip. In fact, the first two pieces you put on, you don't actually go over the tip because then again, you're going to have four layers of tape on the point and it's going to get really hard. So I recommend instead that you do the, this side doesn't actually reach the tip. It just kind of stops just shy of the tip. And then the uh, other side is the one that will catch up on that. All right, so there's that. Just press it down nice and smooth, flip it over and fold it gently in like that. Go. Now this is the part I was talking about where you have to cut this little section right here. So you want to cut really close to the corner so that that can fold up nice and neat right there. And the other ones you can cut them just about anywhere as long as you've got enough of them. They should, they should fold down once you've done that. There you go. This one, this piece might fold down. Sometimes it does. If it's short, it'll fold down like that. But if it's long, you have to cut it. All right, so there's one quarter done there. Right, now I'll do another one. Make sure it overlaps. Uh, not a whole bunch, but enough that, it, that you're not like worried that it's going to peel up on you and reveal the blue foam and make the look of your sword really bad. There you go. As an aside, if you're going to try to do runes on your sword, you want to do them before this step, actually. You want to put down a colored type of tape and then, then put the gray tape down and then cut away to the, to the color. Well, that's, that's a different video, though, if you want to watch that one. There we go. Same cuts again. Fold these up. Okay, and then again, this one should fold down. If it doesn't, you can cut it like that, and then it should fold down. Okay, getting there, getting there, all right? It's looking pretty good. Press it down nice and tight. All right, now this one needs to go over the, all, the, all the way over the tip, so make sure you're going all the way over the tip for this one. It's gonna do the duty of the other one that did not, we did not go over before. So again, a little bit over the center, not, um, right at the mid, not halfway, because um, you need to over overlap, always overlap. Make sure you fold down into these corners really tight, smooth, there go. All right, so now I gotta make sure the point is actually coming together and that this piece of tape comes in as much as, it covers as much of that blue as I can because I'm trusting that my last piece is gonna do that last little bit of cover and not make the tip too hard. So I fold that corner down, there we go. Now I'm gonna cut this here, a couple more places there and there. You can kind of see where, if I hadn't put that little piece of tape down at the beginning, you'd see a blue dot there and there. So that's why you wanna be sure to do that step I mentioned at the beginning. Down. Okay, we have one more piece to do, and this one's got to cover this uh, that other edge there. So we want to make sure that when we put that piece down, we're thinking about that at the side. Okay, I think we got it. I'll double check. Make sure you overlap all the way down and over the pommel. Okay. You don't want to stop right here because then it'll peel up on you. By going over the pommel, you're actually making it really strong and it will stay together much longer. All right, so here's the tip again, and then I'm folding that down. Now you can see I've covered it. There's no blue showing, but I didn't waste uh, extra layers of tape up here. And that's where most swords tend to have problems is they hurt right up there. So, all right, that's done. Now I just need to do 
these last cuts along in there. Fold those up. Okay, and this down. All right, we're almost done. All right, so last steps. We gotta do the cross guard. I like to do this. I like to do my cross guard um, this way, where you put your. Um, I think I have this way, where you put this tape on first, like this, and this one. We'll do both of those. It's a first layer to get the sides. Then you take these sort of uh, pieces here and you set them in like that and you kind of fold them underneath. And then they fold up like that to cover the sides. There's a way to do it too where you, you actually just, just use these and you don't need this side piece at all, but that's I think harder to do. So I'm not gonna teach you that right now. There we go. So you put that one in there, like that. Fold it down underneath, that's what the bottom looks like. So then you fold it under, same thing here. And there you go, all right. Now the cross guard's done, so all that's left is the handle. I like to put Gorilla Tape on either side of the handle to make it tougher and it, that way it doesn't break down on you so fast and become really uh, skinny and crushed. And because um, these swords, my swords get a lot of use because they're shared by the entire league. So I tend to want to make sure that they're very durable. So I tend to put, I've been putting this Gorilla Tape on either side, just a half strip on either side like that. And then what that does is allow the handle to be um, a little more resilient. Then you can pick your color for your grip. I use brown because all of my handles are brown in uh, for the standard swords in my league. So that's why I'm doing that. But you can do it with whatever color you want, of course. Um, there's that. It usually takes about three pieces to go all the way around, but sometimes it'll be two if you've got a really skinny handle. Um, okay. Go. And then one more piece. Okay. There we go. Make sure it's quite really smooth. You don't want any wrinkles. All right. There it is. Okay. So there's your handle. It's all done. It's your blade. Smooth. Very light. And it's just made out of fiberglass rod. Uh, you can get these online, uh, tent, basically tent poles or kite poles, and you can get them at Goodwins um, online. But you can also just use old tent posts or bamboo. Bamboo works really good too, especially for a sword this short. Um, this is Ozark Trail Camping at Foam from Walmart. You can get that there. It's just camping at foam, but you can use something else. But And then this is just open cell couch foam. You can find just about anywhere. Uh, be careful of your tapes. Make sure you're using, I only recommend this IPG tape. That's the fix it grade, very, very low grade. It's the red case. Uh, if you do it the wrong tape, the sword is awful. So be careful the tape you use. I use Gorilla Tape and I'm using a U-Line brown tape, which works pretty good, but you can use something else if you wanted to. Uh, for the, for the uh, this these little blue, uh, this is just a yoga mat chopped up in little tiny pieces. So and I think that's it. All right, enjoy.